Hello and welcome back to Westeros, where we left off. We had just taken the Iron Islands. Riverlands actually have 10 towers and that's just fine. I have released prisoners, sent out patrols, and everything seems to be in order right now. So let's see if we can uh, sell some of our less valuable prisoners in an inn somewhere. Obviously this eh, won't be the place. So yeah, jeez, you look crazy in that armor, man. It just seems too weird, I don't know. Like, him being the only one in the armor, if I could have like seven people standing in that armor, it would be perfect. But with all like that, I don't know, I might have to switch back. And not even just for the look of it, you know, I thought the look would be amazing, and that's why I went with it. But it's kind of starting to bother me just a little bit. So we're going to head back to King's Landing, and I think it's time to start another war because... Uh, you guys just missed it, but I got another uh, report on our money. We actually lost a little bit more, but not much. But definitely enough to, uh, you know, make us want to lose a couple troops. And our favorite way of losing troops is starting a war. Now, we're currently not at war with anyone since we beat the Iron Islands and kind of ended all the other wars we were in. But I think we can try to pick up one of those wars. Maybe with the Veil? Vale? And Roland Kraycott. The end. These guys are just so confused. You know, I think I might need to make myself marshal, and then just start a war to clean things up. And Lord Laurent Lorch has been accused of treason and sent to the Vale. Okay. And Sir Elwood Hart has renounced Westerlands and joined the Vale. I may have to do something about the veil. Asha Greyjoy is what? What is so good about the veil? That's it. They think they're all good and tough right now. We're gonna put an end to them. I'll tell you that. Oh man. Oh wait, those are some of our backup soldiers. I think. All right. Ooh, mushrooms. Eat them. They're very tasty. Yeah. So we're going to uh, start a war here. And oh, oh. What do we have here? Uh, help the honorable men. Charge. And Tywin has taken Redwater Castle. So it looks like the Vale and I guess the Lannisters are going to be our biggest enemies. We thought we put them down a long time ago, but they have definitely rose back up to power. So we'll have to do something about them. Oh man, all these guys got spears. I had to itch it away from that. Hello. Oh, couldn't get them. We got him though. I can take these guys with swords. <laughs> if sword v sword, I got them any day. It's just my sword won't be able to outplay a spear. So I just gotta keep my eyes open when I'm charging into one of these battles. But I still have a ton of Dothraki. And I have Dothraki patrols randomly around now. So. Things are looking pretty good for us. I think the uh, bandits and raiders will have a very tough time facing the Dothraki. So, yep, we've saved you. And, oh yeah, we have, that's all full. We can actually release some of them. And, one, two, three, four, five. Because the ones we have right now aren't super valuable. Done. Take some items. And let's go. See, can we talk to anyone here? Let's see, Lord of Bones. Yeah, I may have to get rid of a couple people too. Maybe after the war. Egon, Old Father. Lord Hallman Page. Uh, I guess I could help out the Riverlands. Just get a quick charge in here. Not particularly trying to help the guy, but trying to help the Riverlands. Hopefully, it'll give me some credit for that. See, trees are thin enough that we can just ride right through them all. Oh, I don't know about those ones, though. Those look a little too close together. <laughs> I rode right into them. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh, no. Don't get stuck, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. There we go. So it looks like a couple guys have been knocked off their horse. Nope, they're on our side. Alright, so let's get this guy. I just trampled him. Yes, I did. I think he'll be fine over there. 
completely missed him. But we can go for some of these guys. Really, buddy? You want to do that? When I said I'm not good with a spear versus sword, I meant like a charge. Alright. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, darn it, I don't think we can land this. I think it'll get stuck on a tree. Yep. Alright, let's see if we can go a little closer and get him. Oh, we can. I think. Maybe it is this one. Just a little poke. Come on. And we finished it. Very good. Very good indeed. Done. Alright, now we're gonna go, uh, now we can go ahead and uh, start a war with someone. See you in a moment. Oh, would you look at that? I'm in a tournament. Alexo Send and Felton Flowers doing well. Bracken and Stolton and Smallwood and Piper and Karst. Hey, it's all people that are with us. We ain't gonna have any randoms winning this one. That's good. Keep forgetting to place bets on myself, though. I guess that's not a good sign. No, no, come back. Don't die on me. He's gonna die on me, isn't he? Oh, no, he succeeded. Oh, come on. There we go. One more. Literally our team getting all the kills. Mostly me, but Felton Flowers did well there too. Alright, who's still in it? And Bracken is the last man standing. So good to him. We might make him the uh, marshal in the next war. I guess I can start going over the next war we're going to go into right now. You see, going against the Veil would probably not be the best idea. Obviously not because they are uh, amassing power or anything, but because we just recently uh, made a peace treaty with them, so we're unfortunately stuck in a truce agreement. And yeah, Bracken, there you go. You know what? Fighting the next round. Going barehanded. Let's do this. Don't think I can use my right hand though. I mean my left hand. So we're gonna have to see if we can take him on like this. Nope. Come on. Alright. Ow. That didn't work well. We're gonna need to build up some speed. But still make him do some incorrect timing. Nope, still didn't deliver anything. Okay, fine, I can't damage him like that. Oh. And I'm just gonna slide in nice and easy like. There it is, right there. Okay, well, he, he deserved um, that. I guess we'll give Bracken marshalship. And let's see, no suitable gift, it's my town, no, come on. Oh well, that should do just fine. Let's see, we've already actually talked to the people in the feast. Check out the tavern, see what's going on in here. Let's see, oh, we do have a slaver. So we can sell all these prisoners. Very good. Uh, Aratus and Tarion is here again. Very good. And who are you? Oh, this is the guy Illyrio sent me to. I'm gonna admit, I may have forgotten about this. Alright, so yeah, he was pretty simple to find. Let's see, well done. Let's keep this between us. Here's a bit of incentive. Bring me back a message. Yes, if you're headed back to Pentos, you might as well bring him a reply. You'll need to keep quiet about your doings, obviously. Alright, Fire and Blood Part 2. Let's see... Just return to him. Okay. Fair enough. Let's finish out the feast first. And then we can go ahead and... I guess we'll just wait here for some time. Then we'll head across the ocean. Looks like the Westerlands are actually being beat to bits over there. And I think we're going to go after the Westerlands because... If we look at the Westerlands... 
which we will in a moment. Oh, oh, Sir Baylor Hightower was taken prisoner. Look at that. All right. Oh, I think the Vale indicted someone so they could actually give away some land. Ah, oh, darn it, we missed an entire tournament. Oh, well. It's all good. Maybe we can hold one more because we do have a good amount of people with us right now. We'll see if there's anyone who uh, doesn't get along so well. We have really limited the number down of people who aren't really fond of us. We just keep getting more uh, good sold people. I'm starting to remember some of the people I have. So things are looking pretty good. Yeah, we got all friendly people here right now. Um, can I change Marshall yet? Yes, I can. So, yeah, I guess we can definitely go ahead. Ooh, or Randall Tarley. He's fought down there a lot before, and that's where his uh, main place is. Hmm, tempting, tempting. It's going to be Tarley or Bracken. Maybe we'll see how well they do in the next tournament. So let's wait here for some time. And I don't even know if Tarly's actually at this feast right now. So we may have to wait. Hey, what'd that guy do? And, oh, Iron Islanders. Ah, darn it, King Balon has escaped. Oh, Mo, Kale and Dothraki have been taken out. Darn it. Well, I guess that'll ease up on the cost of things a little bit. Ooh. Truce between the Targaryens and three sisters have expired. Ah, oh, darn it, I missed another tournament. Got a little distracted there. Maybe we can have a little bit of a tournament at the end? I don't know. Not a big deal if we can't. We'll just make Bracken. Actually, if we're going to make it against the three sisters, which will be a much faster war, then we'll probably want to make it Andrew Locke. Let's see, Aeskio does not have a lord. Yeah, I actually gave Castile Rock to someone, finally. So let's see, dispatch an emissary to Tristan Sunderland. Let's see, let's see what we can squeeze out of him. Because that's definitely possible. That's all for now. And let's see, who do we have with us? Brian Fossaway. Them. All good people. See, wait here for some time. Come on, give me another tournament. Ooh, someone left the north and joined. I could go after the north, too. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. All right, let's see who's joined. Brendan Tully? Yeah, I want to see him fight. So, wait here until they get here. Okay. And let's actually see if we can sort... Uh, I don't think we're going to find Randall Tarley there at all. That might be a little difficult. Or we could probably just uh, check here because we're looking for someone specific. So, target. Oh. <laughs> this list is just as daunting, but I was able to spot him out. Let's see, he was between Rosby and King's Landing two days ago, so I think he might have left the feast. Yet, yeah, Jonas Bracken is still here. Let's join the tournament. And. Withdraw. No! A Randy one! Alright, we will, uh, let's actually wait until we see the results of that person sent out. Left the Vale and joined the Westerlands. Oh, so they pretty much just, like, traded back and forth there, didn't they? Okay, they can't keep their people happy. And, well, we made a little bit of money. Since the patrols died, two of them at least, our party is very expensive, because... Well, Dothraki ain't expensive, but they ain't cheap. So, got that there. And, yeah. Things are looking pretty good. King's Landing, not making enough money there. Pento's not making enough money. Dragonstone, doing a little better than usual. Lannisport really being our uh, best thing there. How did we stay afloat? Volantis making nothing. I can give Volantis away next. Um, the tributes from the nobles really is keeping me up. Okay. That is fine. Alright. So, let's have him come in here. 
and join the tournament view participants let's see ah oh, come on there's only like a couple random people in there it's so tempting yeah well no nah, I want to see someone else do this Paxter Redwine there we go didn't know him as much of a fighter all right, but let's um, just go to the feast, and we will name Bracken as the marshal. He should be able to garner enough support and bring the war. To you. Actually, no, I still didn't get my. What am I saying? I didn't get my results yet. I want to see what they're saying up there. He's not willing to fold. Okay, welcome back. Now, hold on, leave. Is that another tournament? Okay, there's a lot of tournaments going on there. Let's see, so. We can look here. And we are bound by truce not to attack the Vale. And, oh, we had recent provocations from the Westerlands a second ago, and they're not there anymore. I think we're just going to... I kind of really want to take on the Stormlands again. We haven't gotten to fight them in a while. And they were not uh, fully okay with it. I mean, he's still walking around calling himself King Renly. Yeah, let's take it. Let's take on the Stormlands. So if we're going to go against the Stormlands, I should probably give the lead to either the owner of Tumbleton or the tower thing down there. So let's see who those places are. Uh, where's those cities at? Come on. There they are. Tumbleton is owned by Sir Garth Hightower. Okay, he could definitely lead an attack. Or Weeping Tower, Clement Piper. Alright, let's see. Are those guys both here? Well, we'll see if either one of them do anything well in this tournament here. Because I'm fighting. And then I'll let them have the win. I will stick with the punching plan at the end. If it's one of those two. That, I'm just dependent on my teammates back there doing well. Oh, I took out Taz Blackwood. And Randall Tarley is in this fight here. I did want to see him fight. He is apparently a pretty good leader. Good support by Sir Manfred Farman. Oh wait, no, by uh, Zaris. One of our guys who, I think that's one of them that came from across near Pentos. Uh oh, fall back, fall back. Let's take out this group. Uh oh, stop that, nope. Ow. And here come the blues. Mm, this is not going flawlessly. I'm not doing perfect. I think my team's about to be done. Oh, Billaquo, my man actually took me out there. Alright, Master of Ceremonies was like, yeah, you can stay. Alright, who's still in this? Tormund, Giant Spain, Andrew Locke, Cobra Cat, Bracken. Yeah, he's proven himself pretty good here. And that's about it. Go ahead, fight in the next round. So, it looks like I will try to continue winning, because neither of the people I mentioned you know, if it's Bracken in the end again, I'll give him the fist fight. Because if he actually ends up being the last person, second tournament I fight in in a row, he deserves the win. You know, I don't know if he gets anything out of it, but... By the way... Fight in the next round, and let's go. Come on. Nope. 
Oh, I hit him instead. I should have just held my shield up. Too fast. Don't worry, guys. I got you. I got you guys. Good. Let's see who's still in it. Oh. oh fossil way and chittering. Definitely uh, not the men I expected to see here. But who am I with? Me and Call. It looks like I'm fighting Call in the end. Call is like a man who would enjoy a fist fight too. Yep. Good setup. That looks like a weapon he would use too. Alright, fighting the next round. Against my crazy mean messenger guy who threatens everyone. That's usually what I use him for. Hold on. There we go. That didn't work. That didn't work. Did I deliver any damage? Call, please. Yeah. Shield. Shield. No, you don't. No, you don't. Shield. Come on. Where's my weapon? I changed my mind. Speed! Nope. 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 Speed bonus! Darn it. Nope. Come on. Can I like disarm him or something? I lost my weapon. There it is. Sorry, Carl. I tried, man. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Oh, now they got a gift for me? Of course they do. Alright. Let's, uh, see if we can wait this out. I don't know if the, uh, the feast thing glitched, because this has been going on for quite a while. Oh, Volantis is a little more wealthy now. Yeah. Ko Rakat, I think, won that one. Alright, so, um... Yeah, this is interesting. I think I may have to uh, change Marshall. And that'll probably do it. So, let's go ahead and give it to... Who was in the Weeping Tower? You know, no, let's give it to Guy in Ashford. Let's give it... You know what? Weeping Tower would probably be a much better point to launch from. So, Targaryens, Weeping Tower, Lord Clement Piper. Sure, not my first choice for Marshall, but he has amazing positioning. Let's see, I want to retire as Marshall. Yeah, we got, darn it, I chose the wrong Piper. Oh well, let's just go get the war starting. Wow. Lord of Bones and Harma Dog said really don't like me. Actually Mark Piper is a looks like he's a Lord of Griffin's Roost. So that's something. Yeah, so let's go to war. Looks like I still got plenty of people here. Oh the ladies hanging around still? They just wanted to see me. That's a cool name, Ravella. Alright. So. Would like to dispatch an emissary. To. Lord Renly Baratheon. And. Some of your vassals might consider me too warlike. I don't care. It's the only a couple of them too. Oh, Randall Tarly wasn't so fond of that, or Pike. Those are the only two I actually care about, though. Alright. That is all. 
Let us begin the war. Manage the garrison to grab some unsullied and some crossbowmen. We have full out war party going in. Let's do it. Leave. <laughs> there we have it there, all accompanying Mark Piper. Definitely not my first choice, but I have two big King's Landing patrols. Who's the second one? Okay. So, let's see if we can get a couple of them to join us. And we'll just go crazy. Let's see. I'd like to give you some soldiers, totally. Take some of them. We'll let them keep their whole scattered plan thing they got going here. A lot of these are actually cheaper ones. So that's okay. So yeah, definitely taking some archers. We'll take the Lancer. Take the Norvoshi guys. Because those are just plain expensive. And we'll take some sergeants. Screamer is fine. That doesn't cost too much. In fact, we'll replace it with a Dothraki warrior. Done. Please continue. Doing a good job. 43, that's a little better. This is a sick army. Alright, let's actually see if we can uh, get some of these guys up there to do something. Uh, send for a maester. I've lost a strength. I hate that. I should have read things. Alright, so he's following outlaws. Andrew Locke, I definitely want you in there. Alright, so may I suggest a course of action? Raid around Woodsway. I want you guys to do a lot of raiding. Lord of Bones. No, we're not. You're not a big fond of me right now. Yeah, I, I just gave you land. Alright, it's fine. Um, raid around Blackfall. Because they still have a good chunk of land down there. I would definitely like to get quite a piece of it. Let's see. Message to course of action. Raid around Brightsmead. We'll just get like all these guys raiding. It's like a guy with... Oh wait, no. It's 170. Alright, so all those guys are in motion. He's accompanying. Uh, Moat Kalen really needs the support. Derry does not. If he's following outlaws, that's okay for now. We'll get him on the way back. Come on, Harrion. He only has 80 guys, but still. Let's see. Raid around Sapphire Bay. That's the uh, one of the places we got to actually end the war originally. Cold Care going to Stony Sept following outlaws. I want you down there. Let's see. Raid around Cape Wrath. Alright, let's actually head down there and get to war. I'll see you guys when we see some enemies. I've seen some enemies. Outlaws. They're actually in our part of the land, so we'll, we'll take these guys out before going to war. Two under ticks against 25 random scattered guys. Yeah, we'll see how this turns out. Yeah, now we actually have a very good army with us right now. Um, kind of different though. We definitely have some Dothraki as the bulk of our riders. And we have ow, a big hole in our chest from where that lance hit us. We have knights scattered in there. And we have... Jeez, that hurt. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. I'm actually scared of that. That is the reason I need to bring my lance back out. When I'm going against castles, yeah, the uh... Don't worry. The crossbow is a good idea. But not when I'm fighting those guys. Anyway, we also have the Unsullied in our group too. So, we can use those to fight it out. Got an easy victory. So I will see you guys at our next battle.